All right, so we're going to start here by reviewing the types of chemical reactions. So there's the synthesis reaction, decomposition, single displacement, double displacement, and combustion. So a synthesis, two or more reactants combine to form one product. So here is A, it can be, and we represent that will be like your H2. Point of my pen a little bit bigger. So that'll be this. And B can be anything. So this could be carbon. This could be oxygen. Can be anything. So we have those combined to form a compound. Okay. So single things combined to form. So what we do look at is more reactants form a single product. So there could be more than than two. Example, so synthesis means to make. All right, now the opposite is one reactant, a compound. So basically we've rewritten water and we're decomposing it into hydrogen gas and oxygen, okay? form two or more products. So one thing, one reactant, so that's where they have the A, B, they're connected. So it's a compound, it's broken down. It's You can't have an element and break it down into something smaller, but you can have a compound and break it into something smaller. And we use electrolysis for here, this one. All right, so classify these as other, either synthesis or decomposition. So this is our A. This is our B, gives us AB. So that's our synthesis. All right. So here we have, so this is more, gives us one. So more equals one. Okay, here is one to more. Okay, so that's a decomposition. We have one compound, that's our AB gives us A plus B. So that is our decomposition. Okay, here is also one gives us more, two, gives two or more. So that's also decomposition. And here is another synthesis, two or more gives us one. A plus B gives us a B synthesis. Okay, so single displacement, uh, one element replaces, sometimes we call this single replacement. I like that better, but we have one a compound, A, B, and an element, another element, replaces another element, usually the metal. So A, B, and C. So B gets kicked out, and then we have A, C, and B. So here we have compound H, C, L, hydrochloric acid, and then we have the metal zinc, so zinc takes over the place of the HC. That's where it's kind of confusing in, in that the, the metals are taking, the cations are taking uh, over where the hydrogen is. So we've got AC, so there, there is a combination. So it looks like CA really, or CB. And then the A gets kicked out, all right? so. 
it gets switched. So the this one part of this gets kicked out off over here. So this got kicked out all the way over here, part of the compound, the first part. The zinc took over and combined with the Cl, and then hydrogen goes by itself. All right, so double displacement. And again, I like to think of these as partners that are, are dancing. So a couple A and B, a couple C and D, and they switch partners. A switches with, to, with C and B switches here. So here we have A, B, okay, the magnesium, and these are the metals, the metal switching. So MG goes with the F, and NA goes with the CL. Okay, so MG switches. So these guys switch. So we got NACL and MGF. So double, so a partner. So a couple, a couple dancers, they switch their partners, and that's how what you get a double replacement for. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So we have an AB compound and a CD compound. So do the A, G, and K switch places? A, G goes with the CL and the K does. So this is a double. Okay, now notice I can see the single reaction, single replacement because this is a lone element. It's not a compound, A, B. It's just by itself. So K kicks out N, A. So it's like cutting in at a dance. And then we have a single element left, N, A. So, so it's like that. that's a single. And what you want to look for in this particular case is look for an element all by itself. Here we have a AB and a CD, and then the MG and the CAs take switch places. So that's called a double. And then one element, even though it's a CL2, it's still one element if they come together, they're what they call a a binary, so two of them in one. So the CL takes the place of the I in this particular case. So it took the second place instead of the first, but it kicked those out. So that's a single. It can go either way. All right. Now, the last one here we're talking about is hydrocarbon. So I like, uh, you know, carbon and a hydrogen is called a hydrocarbon. So the X just means that you could have numbers. You could have this would be C2H6. Doesn't matter. The X stands for the sub, subscript. Y stands for the subscript. Always have to have oxygen and they always form carbon dioxide and water. CO2 and water, CO2 and water. Okay, so let's take a look at this. All right, so let's take a look. A plus B, so one breaks into two, so that's a decomposition. Okay, A and B and C and D, so two compounds, and they switch partners. A goes with C, B goes with D, that's a double. And we have this oxygen, carbon dioxide in water. We have a carb, so this is a combustion. Okay, two make one, that's the synthesis. And we have a compound and a single element. That's a single replacement. Okay. 
So let's just stop right there.